The SK64S by EpoMaker is a Bluetooth enabled hot swappable board I picked up off of Amazon for around $80. Out of the several boards that I bought, it was the most unique. It uses optical Gateron switches, has die sublimated and really thick PBT keycaps that are in a DSA profile and includes Mac compatible keycaps. As you will hear, the combination of pingy spring sounds and the clackiness of the keyboard didn't sound very good to me. So to start, I took it apart and threw some packing foam in the bottom of the board. There are only eight screws holding this board together. If you do decide to do a foam mod, cut a window in the bottom of the case for the power button. The Gateron optical brown switches that came with the board were MX style and opened easily with a switch opener. On the bottom housing, there's a little window in the nub that sticks below the PCB. Directly mounted to the PCB, there's a light source and a sensor. When the stem becomes depressed, it will occlude the sensor, thus activating the switch. The inside of the housings still have a single contact leaf for the tactility, but there are no pins. This loop station from KBD Fans is a really nice luxury as it keeps the bottom housings upright and organized. I did band-aid mod the PCB just below the spacebar stabs, but I left the others untouched. You'll hear the before and after here, and just notice how clicky the bottom out and return is. Overall, I do like how well this board improved after mods, but I cannot justify the price. The optical switches are not standard, so you would have to keep using Gateron optical switches. I really didn't like the DSA profile keycaps, and when I tried to put on other keycaps, I found that the entire board isn't anywhere close to the standard compatibility. If you are looking for a small keyboard with DSC keycaps that's very original, this may be the board for you. Be sure to check out the links below. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I have several hot swap boards I'm modding right now, so stay tuned for the best hot swap boards under $100.